Bibbidi boop bidi bibbidi boop bidi 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 Ah, no, no, don't, 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 no, no, don't turn off the computer. Hello, my cobalt and creatures, and welcome back to Age of Scales, our vanilla Let's Play series thing. Yeah, it is episode 21. Been away for a little while, just been trying to get things sorted. My microphone died, had to get some new batteries for it, and it's been a bit of a... No, uh, oh, oh dear, I... What the buttons do again? <laughs> oh, it's been that long that I don't remember how to change back the first person mode. Last um, episode, I believe we were working on the beehive. And I think before that, we'd gone and killed the ender dragon. But I actually hadn't gone end raiding. So, in between episodes, I actually went ahead and did some of it. All the little bits and pieces, and I'll just throw all those clips on f on for you. Blah blah blah. Put the words in. No, nope, I'm not going to do another take. That's what you you got the first take. I haven't got time for this. Ha. Okay, so throw some music on and let's show that end busting. There we have it, some end reading, some supplies, some things. Now if I do just get my ender chest out, we can look at the spoils of war and what we were able to grab. We got some shulkers, we got some chests, chorus fruit, some basic armour, sharpness sword, not back sword, you know nothing too great. I wasn't able to find any wings, a um, couple of diamonds, got some mending boots, something. <laughs> And I was able to get a smithing template, so hopefully we can double that up and get some nice gear all set up. So the first thing I want to actually do is, with what I already have on me, is make these shulkers. Yep. And um, I think make 11 of them in total. I'm going to mess around and get those made up now. Do do. I think that's my inventory all cleaned up. So... On with the project, isn't it? First thing I want to do is fully finish off the honey farm. I keep doing this, starting a project and not finishing. I'm determined to get things finished today in this episode. Not 
the entire town, but projects. Start a project, finish a project. First things first, let's finish off this honey house. I think I've got everything I need, except flowers for the planter boxes. Let me just quickly go grab those from in here. Do -do -do -do. Top shelf. Anything will do at this point. It doesn't need to be pretty, it just needs to fill a roll. There we go. And that is that. Uh, next thing I think I need is some scaffolding. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That should probably be enough. And now we need to just do these sections. Now you've seen this on all the same houses because we do like to keep a little consistent style with the houses. So if I remember, oh, okay. Uh, an Enderman decided to try and help out. So we want to try and fill off this bottom area. If there's no planter, this bottom piece of wood needs changing out for a covered piece of birch. Where it covers all the sides, that is wrong. Like that, and like, get you out, place you, and that way it covers all sides. There we go, let's not fall off. That way I can quickly just go tulip and give me something else. Blue and this allium, so we'll grab an allium as well. And whilst we're here, we already have that in our hotbar. Let's throw in those plants. Now we need to figure out this top section because we always go trapdoors of a kind. Because we've got spruce here, we're going to use those ones. And we want polished slab, we want bottom of a block, up a block, down a block. And then what we're using is do, 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 do. I'm just quickly checking the houses for what we're doing. Ah, there. Let's use the black all the way up, the deep slate. Um, we're just gonna double cobble or single cobble. I don't know. We're making this as pussy go along. It's even less of a script today than there normally is. But there we go. There we have it. That's one piece in place. And I'm gonna do all of these as we go. Now I think. Yeah, wait, nope. Now it is. <laughs> now replay is working, and I can just throw this in the time lapse for you. Okay, so almost finished the honey house entirely now. Just doing the final bits of detailing. Want to do some vines and some cobblestone on the chimney. But of all the things to run out of, I've run out of cobblestone. Cobblestone of all things. I mean, cobblestone. So that's certainly um, something to run out of. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to, well, I've got most of my supplies on me. I'm going to do a bit of iron mining and cobble mining and all that. And then we can finally get this thing finished and do those weird glamour ending shot things. I don't know. We'll see the plan. We'll do what we do. <laughs> I need a script. I'm just talking absolute nonsense today. Oh, but it's so good to just be back playing Minecraft again after so long. Fish. <laughs>
so that is a whole heap of cobble back in our storage and enough on us to get this project done. I've also grabbed my vines, so let's finish Honey Farm. Oh, funny, funny house, Honey House, whatever the hell. <laughs> hell, we can't use the word hell. Naughty kobold. <laughs> uh, let's get this chimney fixed, shall we? have it our little bee house is all detailed up the cobblestone and the vines are all in place all the detailing it's finally finished only took us another episode to finish didn't it <laughs> well that's how these projects normally happen they're normally much bigger than i originally planned them to be yep what i'm gonna do now is just check the time on this episode and see how much we have left see if there's enough time for my next project or not so I have checked the time and we have more than enough time to get our next project done. The next big thing on our to-do list and that is to do some extra decoration to some of these builds. That's a, something I've been wanting to do but the resources are a little expensive. It's time we start pushing the envelope and start making some farms for these bigger projects. So first thing is something I've done on camera. It was a bit finicky work with redstone and it's essentially Two observers into each other make a clock, they set off the dispensers, and that means we can quickly grow us some plants, and hopefully it'll work. I could shrink this down using a sticky piston, but I don't have any slimes, so I don't have sticky pistons. But hopefully that should push, oop, that should push that into place and activate it, and it's working, and we're getting tons of it. All you need to do is get a stack, there we go, that is finished, push the piston out of place, I'm actually going to keep the spare one there. I use a lot of lilacs in the builds and I want red for this next project. You can go there, and what I'm going to do is preemptively split the um, bone meal I have on me into these two machines so that next time I need some it's all there set up. Now our next item on our list is a whole bunch of nether wart because I need red nether brick. Anyway so I'm back we're in the nether and I'm actually on my way back from the nether fortress. Uh, we had purposely gone to one previously I remembered to get some blaze rods but there is no nether wart there. So I'm returning closer to my portal and I'm gonna to have to do some more 
manual style searching. You know what? I might cheat a little. I am like behind schedule on all my videos. So would it be a little cheaty to get like some coordinates? Maybe a little cheaty. Um, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna find myself some more fortresses. I found one manually, I think. I think I found that one manually, I don't remember. <laughs> Probably did. <laughs> but regardless, oh, you could have killed me then if you shot me in the wrong place. Ow! Like, exactly like that. It rebounded me off the edge. So, I'm gonna find myself my nether portal once again. I'm gonna find some coordinates and I'm gonna find a portal. A portal? No, a nether fortress to get this weird red mushroomy stuff. You, you just missed one of my um, uh, squeaks. It seems there's some holes in the nether roof, and I was a little careless. Um, I don't know where I am when I just fell out of the ceiling. Oh, thank goodness I still had feather falling boots, but my armor is a little shot. Hopefully, I can pillar up with what I've got and carry on. <laughs> oh, this is not going well. Okay, we are back, and I've lost my helmet, we're outside Honey House, and I have the nether warp that I need. So, rather than spending all we have, because that's probably more than enough I need for the project, but I might need more in the future, so let's future-proof something and give ourselves another farm. Now, not to put decorations in here, there's not going to be much space. So let's go up a floor in Honey House and maybe put this build here. And rather than cutting and rambling, let's just get started straight away. Now, we have to have soul sand to grow up our nether wart. Um, really, one block short. That is typical. What I can do though is cut those away and see that's our growing patch. Um, I could go downstairs and grab the crafting table, but why not just chuck one in the upstairs area here? And let's make some spruce, convert that. And we need to go like that, I think. Yep, I think we need a lever. Um, yeah, or is it there? I have no idea. I don't do this stuff that often. And then I think I need trapdoors. 
of those, yeah. Like so. Um, oh, um. <laughs> where is my axe? It is in here. I think it needs to be on the squares like this. I might be doing this completely wrong, but I thought I'll give it a try first on camera before I do anything. I need to fetch a bucket, so I'll just grab that and I'll be back. Here we are, two buckets. Now, if this works how I think it works, it should be able to go there, and there, and yep, my hand I can quickly form out that, and if I just do that, there's a torch there, then maybe, well it opens and closes, it absolutely floods the area but I can fix that. What I need, I think I actually need to pull the whole thing forwards. Yeah, I'm going to do that right now. Moment of truth. There we go. It filters it all out. All I need to really do now is pull this a little more forwards here. Oop, I accidentally triggered it. No, no, can't give me. No. Oh dear. <laughs> I've broken it. Right, let's back up. Hopefully I didn't like ruin anything downstairs. Nope, everything's fine. And I need to like make a collection area thing here. So what I'm just gonna do is make some more trapdoor. Oh no, that's wrong. Make some more trapdoors. Uh, I've only got four of them. I'll have to make some more. You get the picture. Uh, what I'm going to do for now is just seal it up like that. So hopefully, oh no, it, it, it just flows right over that. Um, okay, if that's the case, then we need a plan B. Oh, no, no, stop destroying the wrong things. I have just destroyed the exterior. But give me those two back. What did I drop? That. Um, how do, oh dear, here we go, maybe if this, no, this is not what I wanted, let me, <laughs> I'm stuck, I'll find a way out and I'll get back to you, okay, back again, more supplies, let's do this right, hopefully, this works, if not, I don't know what I'm going to do, <laughs> okay, oh my gosh, that, Rain here is coming down, <laughs> and I hope that isn't going to interfere too much with the recording. But if I have to wait another day to get this recording finished, I'm going to go insane. But it works, and that way I just have to pop in here, gather it all up, and it will all be ready and grown. So we have a small little farm here. I can probably extend it out and eventually put hoppers in, but that's not a today project. No, no, no. We need to actually get working on today's main project. And now that we've got nether wart, we've got a bunch of nether bricks still smelting up, it is time to get started on our next big project. So you look at all these houses, and they are houses. I'm sure we've got spawn tower, but we're missing a bit of flair. Items that are just existing to add a bit of interest in the area. And what better place to start with again is our first house. Let's do something I've been thinking of since like the early episodes, but we never had material, but now we do. So let's start with a lovely new occupant to live in our city. Let's make ourselves a dragon, shall we? <laughs>
Well, my cobalt and creatures, what do you think? I am pretty pleased with how this little addition has turned out. And those candles really do just add a little extra light in the darkness, don't they? It just adds more. And with all our smoke and all these little details and additions, I think a certain personality is certainly starting to develop on this town, isn't it? Well, this episode is long overdue, so thank you all for waiting this long for it to come out. And as always, I have been Cobalt Queen, this has been Age of Scales, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!